going on YouTube? We're back with another video. In today's video, we're finally going to be diving into Mutt. I know it's been a while, but here we are. We're finally into Mutt. I want to say thank you guys if you watched any of my other gameplays. I know they were all on regs and more, you know, info-based. So if you really do want to get better, go check them out if you haven't already. We're playing Kobolds in today's video, and he took this league by storm in Madden 23. He was a PC gamer converted into, you know, Xbox. I want to say he's back on crossplay with the PC working now. So who knows if he's on crossplay again. But he took the league by storm last year, making the Madden Bowl. He had insane defense. He ran a little bit of off meta um, and he was really good. And we're going to be playing him in my first Super Bowl this year. I know you guys been feeding for that Mutt content. So here we go. Playing Cold Bolts in my Super Bowl. Let's roll the tape. If you guys can real quick, hit that subscribe button. On to the video. All right, guys. So this is a fire gameplay. I mean, he's a big time charge chargers fan he's really good on defense and you know he loves playing against the passers of the world as you see right here we're going to be getting ball first and quick things you know i was trying a new playbook i think i was in philly this game you're going to see him play some pretty good defense in this gameplay and all around yeah this is pc cross play is working it's either pc or xbox see right here absolute book on the first play and we're going for six you know, i was a little uh, unsettled trying to start things off i read that wrong that was a cloud flat um, and I could have definitely just thrown it above him for a nice big chunk of yards And you'll see us do that later on But yeah, he's in the nickel over G trying to get some nasty sheds on your boy um, And you'll see he even sends a little bit of pressure off that right edge left edge at times But here we go once more. We got Kenny Pickett in the gun. We're in Philadelphia playbook right here We're gonna try to hit this corner out. We get it under pressure Kenny Pickett Bryce Young Josh Allen Let me know who you guys are using at QB right now. So we see right here. We go verticals and we make a nice read, except we overthrow the free form. So some things a lot of people have been complaining about, free form being broken, free form being too tough to use. That right there was just not the best example. See right here, we're 0 for 4. He is shedding us with D-Ware. And I told you, man, he's really good on the defensive side of things. See right here, he gives up a nice cover two beater, verticals, throw it to the, towards the sideline over the cloud flat, and thankfully we go for seven. So that was just a, you know, Get me back in the game because obviously if we don't get that fourth down it's gonna be a rough you know game and i'm telling you man this gameplay is long it was kind of laggy uh cross play super bowl we definitely need this win like one of the first super bowls we have see right there I, honestly after seeing that i'm like all right he might get a kick return this game i gotta watch out right here goes over the top grant delpit goes crazy for us and gets us our ball back so this is honestly you know even though i think we end up scoring quite a bit of points we both play phenomenal defense against each other. Um, I see right here, we're just going to run the ball. Uh, something we did not do one time that first drive. And you can run, you know, four yards, we'll take it. Obviously, we're not going to run again. Right here, we throw a nice drag. And we're starting to cook up, man. We're starting to cook up. Darren Waller wears number 12 now. Shout out to my Raider legend, Darren Waller. He was once on the Raiders, now on the Giants. Hopefully, you Giants fans treat him right. Right here, another drag. See, we're starting to cook up, man. We're starting to cook up. This offense is nice. It's easy to run, honestly. The zone is just tough to run, honestly. At the end of the day, it comes down to being zone not being the greatest. Right here, another out route. And we're killing him with the flips. We're killing him with the drags. We're just playing nice, methodical offense. Kind of how you have to play. Right here, I want to say I threw that very late. I definitely did throw that very late. I could have snuck it in much earlier. But it's all good. No harm, no foul. Third and one. Here we go. We're going to set up verticals. Nice play setup right here. He actually plays phenomenal defense, but there we go. That's why we use Kenny Pickett, at least in this gameplay. I don't got him there no more, man. I think I'm using Bryce Young. I'm waiting for that CJ Stroud. Uh, I would have loved a legend QB. I know the legends already got announced. There's no legend QB. I'm definitely surprised. I'm definitely shocked, but it's all good right here. Second and 10, already the first quarter with two minutes left. Um, and we go into this tight way off, gun tight way off week, I think it's called. And we're setting up right here. We hit a nice read. We get it under pressure. Garrett Wilson all the way down to the two-yard line. From here, it should be easy reads to score. He ends up calling a timeout. Very smart decision because I went no huddle. The no huddle, man. What do you guys think about the no huddle? And this is Madden right there. Kenny P taking it into the end zone. Kenny P balled out for us in this game. Even though he gets a lot of slack, he did do his service for me for a few days. And, you know, I'm definitely looking for a new QB, man. Whether it's CJ Stroud, whether it's a legend QB next week or, you know, a team of the week or whatever we get is right here. What did I tell you guys? I had a feeling he was going to get a kick return off that first kickoff. And you could just tell, right? He gets a kick return. I think he breaks a tackle or two and just runs straight. So definitely unfortunate. But, you know, it is what it is. We end up, you know, back to square one. Tie game. 
I dead, um, you know, I get the ball back. He gets the ball at half. So this is just a zero-zero game, man. There's been no really big mental mistakes so far. We both thrown a pick. I've thrown a pick six. He's thrown just a, a lob streak over the coverage. He had T.J. Hawkinson, so maybe if he had like Kyle Pitts or someone, he definitely fits that pass off. And here we go. I throw another pick. So this zone coverage is definitely getting to me. Just a bad read. I mean, you got to hit the flat. I always stress it all the time. Hit the flat, hit the flat, hit the flat. Well, guess what? I did not hit the flat. And here we go. He's trying to run his auto motions right here. Quick slant. I wanted to hit stick, but I didn't get it, unfortunately. It's cool, though, because, you know, I feel like we're playing good D, man. Even though, you know, he's only had like one or two drives or one or two passes. I feel like we're, you know, we're, we're playing good D, making solid adjustments. These safety thirds, man, if you haven't watched, I have a TikTok on him now. Go check it out right here. He gets caged. He had an out route open. Somehow, Jukes, my defender with A-Rod, 69 speed. Definitely was not happy about that at all. Would have loved a third down or, you know, a sack fumble or something like that. But it's all good. He's once more cooking up in this. I don't even know what this form is called. We all know what he, he ran it last year. But look, we're playing phenomenal defense. We click the R3, send the guy, and, you know, he's one for three, nine yards, one interception. Right here, he goes into the bunch. Um, this was like day one or day two, honestly. So... A lot of his players, you know, he has Jamar Chase, not really a, you know, fast guy out there. Here's TJ Hawkinson, someone you don't really see. Right here, he hits us with Jamar Chase. Thankfully, he doesn't complete it. And thankfully for him, he doesn't, you know, throw an interception. Right here, we are in the DB fire, trying to get a little loop de doop de off the right edge. You see me set it up. You could still get those loops this year. He ends up calling a timeout. Right here, we go back to the 3-3. Three, three. I'm like, all right, you know what? He might run the ball or something. Let's just not give it up. Right here, throws a corner out, contested. Definitely not happy about that. Could have been a pick, should have been a swat or deflection. He ends up getting a first on it. And see right here, I'm scrambling with my adjustments. He should have called hike a little bit faster. He ends up still calling hike. And you see those bubble screens, those RPOs, those auto motions. They're doing, the defense is doing a really good job at defending him right here. Uh, he ends up throwing this drag. I cross manned it. I knew like he was going to go up the seams with it or throw a drag or, you know, just try to, you know, get that auto motion to take away a lot of stress from his you know main middle of the field and it actually definitely did that but i was ready for it but the thing is i have jeremiah wosu a linebacker on the cross man so it didn't work right here auto motion again i'm not really stressing about it because you see the defense is playing really really good i'm telling you man those like you know auto motions and all that type of stuff they're, they're you know they could definitely still cause a problem but for now you know i haven't really been worrying about them too much You'll see that more in the second half if he starts cooking up with it. Right here, throws it in route. Um, he definitely could have scored on it if he thrown it a little bit earlier. Right here, biggest play of the game so far. He goes into like a gun tackle set. I don't even know. His tackle and his tight end flip spots. Goes into this gun auto motion. And we're not having it, man. We are not having any of it. Phenomenal defense. Had hook curls on the field. I was even going to sweat that auto motion. If he threw the swing pass... So be it, man. You got it. But I was not going to put all my emphasis on that. End up playing good D. And, man, can we move the ball with, like, efficiency? I think we have one pass completed up to this point. There goes our second one. We finally get it. And, you know, I, I thought it was my second. It was my sixth completion, I guess it said. So, um, yeah, I mean, regardless, we were definitely kind of caged. See right here, 6 of 14. It's been a, it's been a tough showing for us uh, so far. Right here, make a late read. We had this guy open earlier. Darren Waller makes a guy miss. Definitely firing that number 12. I didn't even know he was wearing that, but yeah, man. I'll definitely be tuning into some Giants games this year. Right here, we go in this tight way off. Trying to set up some nice, you know, cover three beaters or whatever it may be. Just trying to space out the field, man. Sometimes you just got to get out of the bunch, especially versus a guy who's really good versus bunch. Right here, sends the pressure. Running back was open. Tight end was open, but it doesn't matter. He sends five. He gets that pressure. He deserves to get that pressure. If you send five and, you know, you commit to getting that blitz to come in, whether it's with your user or whether it's, you know, fooling out the old lineman, he definitely got that pressure to come in right here once more when this post wheel drag. Trying to get a nasty setup, and we do. We have triangle open, get the first down, and those rollout plays, you know me, I love rolling out and throwing dots like that. Kenny P is really good for that. Um, right here, Ramondre Stevenson down to the six yard line. We do have that goal line back, so we definitely are gonna try to get in there with the goal line back. Right here, we set up a nice play. This, this dude, Evans, got three picks on me, bro. I don't know who this dude is. I know he, who he is. He's an 85 speed corner with a nice height, and then he has 85 zone. So that's why he obviously has him out there on the field. But man, I'm, I am trolling this game away. So this is tough showing for us so far. Right here, he misses his read. He had him much earlier. 
Um, I, I'm glad that was under pressure, man. That should be under pressure every single time, especially if you make that late of a read. I don't know why I clicked R3 with him having Aaron Rodgers being super slow, but you know, definitely did not like that. Right here, needed that to be a deflection at the bare minimum. I think uh, John Mitchie is really fire, honestly. I still am using him to this day. Right here, we're setting up our coverage again. Shea down, man up everyone, sending three. We're not gonna get the best pressure, but man, look at the coverage on this play, man. There is not one soul open. Corner route's bagged. Wheel route, kinda open, but we have a third over there. Drag bagged with our user. So once more, we're going to it again. And the thing is, um, I should have been sending a little bit more pressure, but at this time, I'm like, I wasn't comfortable sending five. And also, he's blocking his tight end quite a bit. Right here, what am I doing with my user? I have no idea. I'm gonna rewind that real quick for you guys, because I am i don't even know what I just did. So right here, Josh Reynolds. I'm like, all right, this is like a short post, right? Ends up being a long post. And he takes the top off. I was kind of looking at that drag. I don't know what I was doing. It's all good, though. The thing is, he didn't clock us out. It, you know, maybe in a tournament game, he falls down on the one. But since it's a new Madden, people want to score. People want to play deep. People want to play the game. They don't care about clocking and all that. And, you know, yeah. We have one timeout left. We got to get seven at least before half if we want a chance of winning this Super Bowl. Vertical's been money for us. He mans him up. Um, we have R1 open, but he gets a nice shed. And that's what I'm talking about with this over G. I want to say he was past committing at certain plays. Which is makes sense because you know it's kind of tough to run the ball on over G. He knows I'm a passer. He knows I don't really am. Like, you know I do run the ball. Trust me, especially when it's warranted. Like if you're in dollar man this year, you're definitely getting the the ball ran on you for sure. Right here, he's getting some nasty pressure. I set up a dot, man. That was a nice little you know I don't even know S post, but mini S post. I stood it composed in that pocket. That pressure was getting to me, but it didn't matter. Right here, what did I tell you guys? This verticals route was going to be open for us all day long. I want to say I was quick hiking him as well, and he was just not getting the adjustment set up. Right here, we go with the read option again. We almost bounced it out for a touchdown, and we go no huddle, trying to get seven right here, and we just lob this over the top. Ooh, that could have definitely been a pick if he committed to it, but we get, you know, we get fortunate timing. He backed off at the last second. I want to say I had the wheel route open again. My man's was in cover too, loving it. Um, and we tie the game up before half. Let's see if he ends up getting three before half because, man, this offense, you know, I don't like what I'm doing right now. I was running press, man. It was working so well. I decided to back him off for some reason. No clue why I did that. I guess I just didn't want to get burnt because the play before I literally got burnt. But you'll see right here, um, honestly, there's still nothing open, but you know, we don't get any pressure right here. He hits this route and he ends up having seven seconds left. The thing is he has no timeouts. So we just protect the sidelines and we'll be good. Um, you know, anything in the middle of the field will be all right. I should have ran like a cover two and just ran back right here. Maybe cover two Mabel, uh, send three. That way there's no quick dots. Uh, let's see what he throws right here. He's going to go corner out and he ends up catching it. I think that's a uh, sauce Gardner, not the pre-order one. I didn't get him. I'm a new he ends up catching a contested pass. The thing is, you catch those this year. So I was, at the time, I was mad. But now, looking back on it, I told you guys what I would do. I would run a cover two with 20s and 5s or 20s or 15s and 5s. I don't know. Something like that. 20s and 5s probably would have done the job. But the thing is, he could just maybe fit that pass in there. But without a passing cam, who knows? So here we go, man. This is going to be sweaty gameplay. Going to come down to the wire. Uh, he now is in this ace slot offset i want to call it and two tight ends pretty much caged up aaron Rodgers still gets four yards somehow with that 69 speed i'm telling you it's a year the mobile qb great defense right here send the pressure he might have had a corner out to the right open but looking back on it man it's it's still good defense right here he goes auto motion on third and 15 ends up getting four yards so, you know, we'll take it. What did I tell you, man? The man coverage actually guards those auto motions. Right here, he quick hikes us. There's nothing open. The three rec goes crazy for us. He had that wheel rod, and we fumble on the jurdo, but we pick it up. Uh, excuse me, not the wheel rod, the angle rod. I still want to know how he got an angle rod right there. Like, what route was that? Like, you don't got Harmon Master right now. You don't have running back apprentice. How did he get that route right there? So, no clue how he got that route, but, you know nonetheless if he waited maybe a second or two he would have got it but the thing was he couldn't right here rolling out trying to hit a nice read um and it's just like you can roll out but man the disengages are pretty good and it, that wasn't a contain obviously or anything like that right here nothing open we had the running back for a split second missed the read he's manning up the right guys at the right times and it doesn't help that i'm missing reads right here 
Not the best read, but we will take it and we end up getting a first. That was kind of a desperation read. Just throw it across the middle. And man, I'm so glad I'm watching my gameplay back because I have so much to work on. And this is gonna help me, man. Watching your VODs always will help you out. Like I'm missing the flats quite a bit. He's running like a lot of cover too, man. So I should have kept spamming verticals. And you know, he's getting some nice pressure, so I can't even complain. Right here, throw that um, insta drag. That was a great read, honestly. He had no hooks. Right here, second and eight. Could have been second and what, like three, but I took that delay of game. We're gonna go with dig return, it's bagged, and I can't even throw my little hitch route to the right. So great defense, I wanna call that match. Right here, we're gonna have square open. And I told you, he kept giving that up. I don't know if I was quick hiking him. I don't know if he was trusting his zones or if he was putting in the safety third and it just wasn't playing it. Can't run press cover two in this game, man. Whether you have 30s on the field, they won't go back and guard it. Press cover two, press zone drops, they don't really work, man, unfortunately. You know, you could do a five curl, it'll play pretty well for you until like, you know, at the last second, my back up, but whew, that, that, I needed that touchdown. Right here, we're trying to mix it up right now. We're sending four, because like I said, he was getting a lot of time. Nice little read too. I want to call that Chase John. Who is that? I don't even know, Ernest Johnson. Number 25, definitely solid. Um, D. Ernest Johnson, if that's him. Um, nice little mix up at running back. I know a lot of guys use Ramondre. I know that there's a new Fred Taylor coming back, coming out. I know those are there's a new Franco Harris. I heard he gets running back apprentice. So let me know who you guys are gonna use at running back now. Whether it goes Fred Taylor, whether it goes uh, Franco Harris, or are you gonna still rock with Ramondre? But right here, man, he's starting to see the holes in my defense. He goes auto motion right here. And like I said, I'm not falling for that auto motion anymore. That should have been a hit stick drop. I don't know if he would have dropped it, but that should have been a hit stick. But it's all good. You know, we're still in this coverage. Um, I, like I said, in this gameplay, I definitely should have blitzed more. I know he blocked his tight end quite a bit, but blitzing out of a cover two shell would have been nice. Maybe cover three and guard the middle of the field. Right here, corner route, great dot. Um, JC Horn, thankfully I don't have him anymore. Uh, he's just not the best in man. We have demons out there. We got like Marlon Humphrey, Jalen Ramsey, Tariq Woolley, and Sauce Gardner now. And the, be the best safeties you can imagine. Right here, he's starting to cook up. It's really that running back route kind of putting a lot of stress on my user. When I want to blitz, you know, I'm not getting pressure. So, yeah, you see me um, right here, auto motion. And he has it for a little bit. But he goes up top and catches it. Nice high ball. He stretched, he stretched the user out um, by taking a step. But I got to remember, man, he has A-Rod. I could have lived with him taking off up the middle. There's no way he would have scored. Um, and here we go, man. Here's down to the nitty gritty. 28-31. Game is kind of laggy. Kadarius Tony, can you get out of there for your boy? Nasty stick moves. RB spam. We're spamming RB. We are spamming RB. And we get into the end zone. Hey, I, I don't know what I've seen right there, but I don't know. If I didn't spam RB, I don't think I was out of there, man. I think spamming RB got me out of there. And let me know what you guys think. Have you been RB spamming? Because I definitely will tell you that I have been RB spamming all game long. Whenever I have the chance to get an open field, it's definitely helped me. I feel like more than that. Like, what's, what's there to lose, right? You're not going to fumble. I know people say, oh, it doesn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. Well, I actually just feel like it kind of might do something. Who knows, man? Right here, we're going to start to play a little bit more coverage. Excuse me, a little bit more zone and start blitzing zone blitzes right here corner route we got to pick this off at least he didn't catch it right that's what i could say at least he didn't catch it the safety thirds are giving him a trouble um giving him a little bit of trouble zone coverage right here i didn't get my defense set up i wanted to press and we finally press that's one thing i gotta say man if you don't get it set up sometimes it just doesn't work right here we have a wosu in coverage that's kyle hamilton guys or you know derwin soon uh i think grant delp is pretty good right there <laughs> joey blunt there's a numerous, numerous amount of guys that could play right there. Ed Reed is coming out, so don't even trip. I like Owosu. He's good in the run game. He's pretty fast, but he just, he's just not good at man. And then he can't catch the ball, so no lurker, right? You can't jump. You can't catch the ball. Right here, he goes wide curl. Everything caged, and man, it hurts to have a 69-speed QB because, man, when I seen that, he had a 69 speed QB. I'm like, all right, I could just send three without anything. Right here, another instance of me having a Owosu kind of costing me. Had, a line, had I had a linebacker right there, that would have been a nasty click on, pick it off, potentially end the game. But man, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. Once more, he goes to Dearness Johnson, gets a nice juke move. Those running back routes really are his back, like his staple. Um, besides those routes, you know, I feel like I was playing good defense. Those running back routes is hard to defend because even if you man it up, they're still open. Right here, let's see what he goes to. 
motions out the bunch to the right. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to run the ball quite a bit more, and he honestly didn't. Corner route right side, not open. Um, maybe with a free form outside, he could have got it open. Uh, but, man, that was a 50-50 play. Shout out to J.C. Horn, I want to say, making that play. And right here, he's going to go with the auto motion. And it actually is going to work from right here, except for the fact that Evans makes a hell of a play. But it doesn't matter. He ends up getting the first down regardless. See right there, I was in zone, and the auto motion worked. The uh, mountain swing worked. But when you're in man, it's it could still work. You could still navigate the lanes and get some nice blocking, but you still have, that guy who's manned up to him is gonna actually defend it. So that's the big difference with those mountain swing passes this year. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. At least he's you know not chewing clock. Maybe he is. It looks like he actually is manually chewing clock right here. Mountain swing pass, auto motion, everything caged. Not really. He has a wide open guy, and we get a hit stick animation. When I when I seen him, I'll be like, all right, that's fine. We have some time to score. I could cook up, and then we end up making him drop it. Right here, crazy defense. Not really. Evans gets cooked at the last second, but it's all good because we are now on a fourth and three. We're going to call a timeout right here. Don't want to get quick hikes. This is the most important down of the game. We could actually end up getting out of here with a win right here, right now because he has two timeouts. So right here, look at the crazy cross, man. I'm about to get crazy with it one time, man. Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust me, bro. I get a crazy B guy with Traven Walker. I'm gonna have to rewind that one time for the one time. Peep these adjustments. Manned up the cross man, Joey Blunt to the tight end, shaded down. This dude right here, I don't know who this is. I think this is Cameron Curl, shaded down to this guy. So let's see what it ha ends up happening. Obviously we saw the result. Traven Walker comes in free. This auto motion, not open, nothing is open. He might've had the zig route, but there's two guys there. If you wanna throw it, be my guess. Tight end is not open. Slant is not open. I call that a cage. I call that game. Big shout out to Trevon Walker coming in clutch. Uh, had to replace him, sadly, because he's just not the best. But it's all good. Right here, we're just going to ice the game. Somehow, we get out of bounds right here. I don't... Like, that's crazy. I was in the middle of the field. Look at where I was at when I get when I get touched. I don't have to rewind this, but still, this is crazy to me. I'm right here when I get touched. I guess it makes sense. But, I mean, I get pushed out of bounds. It doesn't matter. I, he has two timeouts left. This game is still going to be 100% ice. It would take a miracle. And then he messes up on the hit stick. We get to a second and one. Definitely a nice victory for my Super Bowl. Unfortunately, you know what? We get one trophy pack. I know they're making make rides. It's just a joke. But we end up icing the game right here. So, big shout out to Cole Bolts for giving me a hell game. Showing me some nice stuff. And, you know, it's just a good game. Shout out to Cole Bolts. He made a lot of money last year. He was hella good last year. He's really good on defense, and I know he'll be clicking on offense pretty soon, right? Like, I, right there, it's just a sloppy game between the both of us. End up coming in through clutch with a red zone stop. If you guys want more content, more videos, more tips, more tricks, hit that like button, subscribe, comment what you want to see. I'll catch you guys soon. We're almost at 10K. Appreciate all the love.